Hello guys and welcome back to a new video here at our channel of Handy Games. We are back with a big surprise. I have the honors to present you um, some of the world first and exclusive gameplay footage to our new and upcoming game Burning Bridges 1944. So as you might guess Burning Bridges is the new installment of our highly successful hack strategy game series and this time it is the Axis and the Allied Forces that clash together and I'm going to present you some key gameplay features uh, in this video and I will not play through like a whole mission so we will rather jump around between the missions and hopefully I can show you some very cool and new stuff. Okay, now let's go right into it. We will play... Uh, which mission was it? It was the Bridgehead mission of the first Allied Forces campaign. Yeah, and of course I already prepared a little safe game. My troops already landed on this beautiful coast over here. It is all, of course, highly fortified. You can see all the new cool graphics we have of, uh, for installments and bunkers. And yeah, cool new art design. And that's how we roll in burning bridges. Okay, let's start. This little fellow over here, it's basically our Swiss army knife. It's the uh, infantry zapper, or also called engineer or technician. Uh, he has a lot of abilities, as you can see. Um, one of it uh, is to search for mines. You can build some barricades. Uh, you can even build some MG nests and so far and so forth. Okay, now our troops landed on the coast. Maybe it's a good idea to scan for the perimeter. perimeter and look for any mines yes and look at that we have some mines over here let's go over there and defuse them and now our troops should feel a little safer okay another mine over there so far so good what we can also do is of course we could build like some barbed wire over here although it's not very useful right now but we can, can also um, go for uh, the MG nest and yeah, normally the engineer is not able to shoot at any targets, but if we build this nest over here and jump into it, we have an MG nest and can shoot at the enemy, which is not present at the moment, but we will get to that. Okay, another cool feature. Look at that, fortified artillery. Yeah, that bad boy over here could easily destroy our whole forces. But we are in luck. We have these guys over here, the flamethrower infantry. I call them flamethrower Joes. And yeah, they have the wonderful ability to clear out installments and bunkers. And that is a wonderful cutscene. Okay, reconnaissance aircraft. Nice, I will skip that so I don't spoil the cutscenes for you. Okay, yeah, the flamethrower guys, they can clear out um, whole bunker installments or artillery and yeah. Let's do that. Whoop. And the ultra release is gone. And we can now hijack it and use it for our own troops. And um, now let's jump into another map. I positioned two engineers at this bridge over here. And as mentioned before, Engineers are your Swiss army knife and they also have the ability to interact with bridges and what we can do is we can blow up this bridge Just like that boom and now the enemy is completely cut off um, from traversing this river over here unless he uses infantry units and infantry units now have the ability of well rubber boating basically and they can transition rivers with this rubber boat ability but if you want to cross a river with uh, your tanks you have uh, to use a bridge and for that we can now repair the bridge with our engineers just skip the turn yep and go back And voila, the bridge is repaired and we can now use it to move our tanks over there and into the enemy 
land. And of course, the enemy can use the bridge too and blow it up. So yeah, be prepared for that. And if you play through the campaign and the awesome new missions. And it looks like I'm in trouble. I'm basically surrounded by German units and I have to, well, escape the situation basically. And for these situations in particular, we added a new and awesome core gameplay feature exclusively in the Burning Bridges. You now have um, global abilities. You can use a supply crate, for example, to drop down some supplies directly into the front. And here we are. You can use an airstrike to bombard a target location. You can even drop in some paratroopers, so just like get the flamethrower guys over here. Um, you have the uh, possibility or to scan for hidden enemies, like that. Okay, now we know there are three enemies. And yes, these global abilities you can use basically once per turn and whenever you use it the price for it doubles so choose wisely when to use it now isn't this a wonderful cluster of enemies mm, that looks delicious ah, let's go for that boom yeah and we are basically back into the game and can start our onslaught against the german army Good! One last mission to show you how you can combine your abilities, uh, your global abilities. And I will boot up another map for that. So, here we are. I positioned my forces in front of this bridge. And there is some fog of war, so I don't know what's going on. But, as mentioned before, I now have the global abilities. So, I will use the radar, maybe at this location and scan for some enemies first. Ah, awesome, okay, so now I know there are... Can I count right? Yeah, it's five. Five enemies around this supply depot over here. And yeah, maybe I don't want to send my troops over there and maybe let's go for a surprise attack, maybe. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. So for that, I can use this scout balloon. That's also new, I did mention that in the previous scene. And now I have vision and I can drop in some paratroopers. Let's get a sniper down here. Okay, and I can start to ambush the enemy. But first, let's open up with an airstrike. Boom! Now the enemy lost some health points and I can finish up those infantry guys over here. Woohoohoo, and I, well, didn't make my move without this MG nest over here. But yeah, we still got one unit over here, and it's a sniper. He can't camouflage himself, and we have a lot of intel gained from this move. Yeah, and that's basically how you can combine your global abilities and use some uh, new and awesome strategies. All right, well, that should be it. This concludes our first look at 1944 Burning Bridges. Yeah, I say goodbye and enjoy your day. And as always, if you want to see some more videos, subscribe and like our channel. And see you guys next time.